Sabah sudah semua speech juga nak untuk nyenyap si gol bi. Ada player player sila. Tapi si nyenyap nyawa Alhamdulillah hirapil alamin. Alhamdulillah hirapil alamin. Alhamdulillah hirapil alamin. Having the mindset to to build a mindset of football into this. Um, future professionals, but this year we concentrated because we know that we have almost achieved that. We concentrated on competition, and that is why we, unlike last year where we played only two matches, I think during the camp, this year we played about what eight matches, six, twelve plus eight, which is about twenty matches. So we are focusing the kids on competition. And because of that, you would know that the teams we are bringing, you know, some of them were very big and they could have wounded the kids. But Alhamdulillah, the kids played with brilliance and we were able to come out at the camp and nobody was hurt. That's why we again thank God. To train these, or these young, talented um, kids to grow up to be future professionals in football but notwithstanding also i think they have also demonstrated the religious side of it because we believe that the two can the two go together you know um so we really thank them for the efforts they have done on the kids them that nobody should be ashamed to be poor but you have to be ashamed to be to continue to be poor and to be poor means that your mind is poor it's not because you don't you cannot buy a new car. I have narrated to them that I don't come from a, a rich family. In my childhood, my father was a teacher. My mother never worked. We lived on a salary of one hundred and fifty-seven dollars a month. We were living in a two-bedroom house with six of us, with my father and mother, and we were never ashamed of ourselves. But we were strong enough to say that in the future, we will not continue to be poor. And today I can say that myself and all my siblings, we are all doing pretty well in what we are doing. And this is the opportunity to, this is the opportunity to be great people tomorrow. And they can do it. I've explained to them that some of the things I have gone through, and I'm speaking on camera, so I'm not, I'm not in a position to lie to anybody. We had never got a meal in our house. I used to wake up in the morning. I will clean the house. We used to have ships with my brothers and sisters. And we go to the market and buy, you know, what we need to cook, what my mother needs to cook. My mother has never gone to the market. He's still alive. She, has, she doesn't know where the Serapuna market is. We used to live in pipeline and we will walk, there was no fear, we will walk from pipeline to Serakuna market, buy fish and come and prepare it for my mother to cook it before we go to school in the morning. I don't think that so most of them are not doing that. Start to the common entrance with all the schools sit, whether it's a government school or a private school, and we go to high school and meet students who come from private school from 30 families, and at the end of the day, we have better results than them. Friend, that Every morning he used to carry, his mother used to sell, I think Rui, they, they call it, you know, courage, and he used to carry the porridge to where his mother used to sell every day before he comes to school, to the effect where even his hair was all gone. You know, he couldn't have hair, but he was always happy to do it. But today, in the world of today, I'm very surprised that kids don't, they are not proud to help their parents. In fact, they are, they are ashamed that maybe my, my mother is selling ice or my mother is selling porridge. And I told, told them that they should not be part of those kids. Your mothers and your fathers are doing everything they can to make sure that you go to school. When you wake up in the morning, try to see how you can help in the family, how you can help your mother, your father, and also your siblings in the house. You know, they are coming to witness this ceremony. They all love you, you know, and what they want is for you to be men tomorrow. 
men who will take care of yourself and take care of them and, and other people around you. So I really want you guys to take that home that you are not only, we are not building you as only football players, but our main objective is to build you as men who will be able to do things on their own and will be able to help people around them. Team. That is our objective. We are not building a player because Gambia needs a team. We have players. Today even Gambia is playing and I must say that we are very sorry because we miscalculated. We thought that Gambia was playing tomorrow. We wanted to have a send off and then take the kids to the playground tomorrow. But then we didn't know that it was today. So we, we really, we wanted them to watch the match. But when Gambia is playing, they go and get players from everywhere and try to train them in one week. And we always have a problem to win. And this is why we have taken a different direction. We are not building individual players. Yes. Coach Ahmad have named few people who have scored goals. You know, people like people who score goals, but they scored goals because they had a team behind them. And that is the team we are trying to build. That's the bonding we are trying to get among these 30 players for the next few years. Uncles, I want to see how they move, and so that we this type of support they need, we can give them that type of support as we go on. Because you cannot monitor them if you don't know where they are. Yajibi, <laughs> The <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know that a lot of people will come and tell you, your, your son is very good, I will take him to Europe. You know, just be patient. I think that, you know, what we are planning for the kids, if everything goes well, you will all be smiling. But let us just be patient, because as the kids grow, you will have so many people coming to you and telling you all sorts of stories. But we have gone and we have seen that most of the players they take from Gambia to Europe, you know, most of them they end up in the streets. And that's what we don't want for these kids. Really, I want to thank him especially. Because with the kids even give me a name. You know, Coach Money is here 24 hours. Whether camping or not, I think every time you come here, you know, he's here and he has scheduled his um, team of good coaches to be able to train the kids. I don't think that there has been any moment where the kids have come for training and they don't find at least a minimum of four or five trainers on the ground. And that is because of his law.
you all have to play as a team either on the bench or on the pitch or outside make sure you people are one family and you advise one another let's not involve ourselves in activities that at least will 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 can is our 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 professional careers and the like you know don't smoke don't take drugs and all sort of things those are things that at least will will, will spoil your career Slowly. it is a privilege and a great joy for me to extend a vote of thanks to all those who have contributed in one way or the other to make this summer camp a success by the way, my name is Yerinja. On behalf of the 2019 Soma Campus, I extend you a warmest and sincere greetings. Good, good afternoon, the CEO, the Q Group chairman, and friends. I extend the same greeting to our parents, so to our hardworking coaches. This will not be a long speech. This message is from the campus to our parents. Parents, please. Be informed that this camp is an extension of home ground rules. At home, we are pamper and look after. And at the camp, we are all well looked after, both in terms of welfare and also of our career mission. Someone can argue that when people meet in a place, it is obvious that they will take away different experience. However, this may be true, but in our cases, we are all taking away the same experience. Because we are aware of the task that lies ahead of us. The mission has challenges, but we will not confront it alone. We will need guardians from the Almighty God. We will seek for the parents, continue prayers and support. We will endeavor to change the face of Gambian football for success. Tu te dis, 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 tu te